The OFC-1 is a pulsed optical light detector designed to identify and measure pulsed light sources with modulation frequencies from 10 Hz to 100 kHz in two ranges. In addition to a digital frequency readout, the OFC-1 includes an audio amplifier circuit and a speaker to allow you to hear these light pulses. This helps to identify common sources very easily. Included with the OFC-1 is a 9-volt alkaline battery and the operating instructions. To help you further understand and appreciate its wide range of uses, this video was made as a companion to the included instructions. Pulsed light sources are causing a growing number of people eye fatigue, headaches, and discomfort with computers, TVs, tablets, cell phones, and modern indoor lighting. Pulsed lights appear to be on steadily, but are in fact flashing on and off very quickly. Modern LED lights can be more uncomfortable for many people because the LED can turn on and off much faster compared to a traditional light bulb. To begin, let's look at what causes this pulsing light. The AC, or alternating current electricity in your home, has a waveform that is known as a sine wave. The time it takes to complete one full cycle is the frequency of this AC wave. In North America, the AC power frequency is 60 Hz, or 60 cycles per second. By looking at the sine waveform, we can see that light bulbs can get turned on twice every cycle, once on the positive side and once on the negative side. As a result, the OFC1 will show 120 Hz on the display when reading most electric light bulbs in North America. The line frequency in Europe is 50 Hz so the display will show 100 Hz with most light bulbs there. To show the reality of pulsed electric light sources, we captured video at a very high frame rate and then slowed it down to the standard 30 frames per second. The results show what we are missing and what can cause eye fatigue or headaches. Here is an example of a bedside lamp and alarm clock. This is what we think we are seeing, but in fact, the lamp and alarm clock display are flashing too quickly for most people to consciously notice. Slowing this video down to 30 frames per second shows what's actually happening here. The bedside lamp is turning on and off 120 times per second, and the alarm clock LED display is generated from a multiplex display driver that gives the illusion of a constant continuous display. Using the same high frame rate video capture, here is a comparison of a small LED bulb alongside a small traditional light bulb. The standard light bulb uses a tungsten filament that is heated with electricity to the point where it glows brightly at a high temperature. That's why these kinds of bulbs get very hot when they are on. This pulsed light is less apparent because this filament cannot cool down and stop glowing as quickly as an LED. Notice the more apparent flickering on the LED light. The tungsten filament, in comparison, takes time to cool down and never goes out completely, and the LED turns on and completely off almost instantly. This can be a source of greater eye fatigue. Natural continuous light sources, like the sun, a candle, or lights powered from DC or direct current, are on all the time, and are much easier on the eyes. Now let's start using the OFC1 to look closer at some light sources. To turn the unit on, rotate the volume control clockwise and adjust the volume as necessary. The sound output from pulsed light sources will vary greatly depending on how bright or how close you are to the light. The actual light detector is shown here on the meter. Simply point this detector at the light source that you wish to test. If this tested light source has mostly one overall pulse frequency, the LED display will lock onto it and display a steady value. If the display is showing over 1000 Hz, change the range to kilohertz for the best stability. The speaker volume can be adjusted as desired to hear the sound of that pulsed light source as long as it's within our hearing frequency range. Here we will measure and listen to the sound of two light bulbs, a traditional filament bulb, and an LED light bulb. In this case, both will show a clear pulse frequency of 120 Hz as expected, 
But notice the difference in sound of the two lights. The regular bulb. And now the LED light bulb. Fluorescent and compact fluorescent lights are often difficult for the OFC1 frequency display to measure because they are controlled by a complex mix of power frequencies. If we look at the pulsed light waveform from a typical compact fluorescent bulb on an oscilloscope, we see a very noisy 60 Hz signal. Zooming in on this wave shows another prominent frequency in the hundreds of kilohertz, along with lots of noise represented by sharp needle peaks. This is why these bulbs can emit a great deal of EMF, which is discussed in other videos for our low-frequency EMF meters. Here is a typical PC laptop display showing 211 Hz. Here is an iMac computer. The display pulse frequency is much higher at 7.7 .7 kHz. In both cases, when the screen is increased to maximum brightness, the light is no longer pulsed. Remember that if the tested light source is continuous or contains multiple pulse frequencies, the display will only show random numbers that constantly change. At this point, the speaker will help determine if the light is pulsing by sounding the optically detected pulses of that light source. Natural sunlight, candles, or lights powered with DC will only create a low-level hissing sound Because the OFC1 is extremely sensitive, using it to measure artificial light in an environment with lots of natural sunlight will require you to measure close to the source. At night, however, the OFC1 can detect pulsed light sources from a great distance. In short, the OFC1 helps reveal the true nature of artificial light. To turn the unit off, rotate the volume control counterclockwise as shown until it clicks into the off position. It's important to note that when the meter shows four zeros on the display, it is time to replace the 9 volt battery. For best performance and display resolution, use a quality alkaline battery. Thank you for watching, and please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at slt.co for the most current information on this subject.